Mi gente, estamos en la calle, en pie de lucha. Hay que defender nuestros derechos. Es lo único que nos queda. Nos van a enviar a la indigencia, bien, a la pobreza cuando nos retiremos y eso es lo que estamos peleando. Lucha sí, entrega no. Thousands of teachers abandoned classrooms and took to the streets of Old San Juan, Puerto Rico to protest the new terms for salary and retirement plans imposed by the government. The protest was in response to Puerto Rico's debt restructuring plan, which dramatically cut their pensions. As a result, they are quitting by the dozens. Adarsh Bhatt reports from a protest in Old San Juan attended by more than 1,000 teachers. My name is Jeanette Cruz Lopez. I teach in Las Piedras, Puerto Rico, in the Ramon Power y Giral High School. I am an English teacher. All right. Why are teachers quitting with the protest happening right here? Okay, a lot of teachers that are quitting is because it's not feasible to stay any longer after our pension fund has been frozen. And from this point on, all we will get is a benefits plan that we, as employees, will um, put money into. So we have a pension plan where we get 75% of our salary. With the new law that is being Im implemented today, um, we are only to get 1.8 of that 75%. In 2016, Congress passed the Puerto Rico Oversight, Management and Economic Stability Act, a law known as PROMESA, that created a new government agency. This agency, the Financial Oversight and Management Board for Puerto Rico, also known as the Junta, was responsible for laying out Puerto Rico's debt repayment strategy. The Junta primarily made financial cuts or austerity measures to address the debt. The financial cuts included Puerto Rico's Medicaid spending, teachers' pension plans, and funds for public universities. In Puerto Rico, the base pay for public school teachers is $1,750 a month, a figure that has not increased in 13 years. The reason is Puerto Rico declared bankruptcy in 2017 with a debt of over $70 billion. On January 18, 2022, U.S. District Judge Laura Taylor Swain approved a large-scale debt restructuring plan that would cut $33 billion from Puerto Rico's debt and work to pay back its creditors. To learn more about teachers' perspective on the issue, I interviewed Nancy Millian, a high school English teacher at Padre Rufo Bilingual School. Why is this protest important to you as a teacher and how is it important for the future of Puerto Rico? Well, I'm afraid that our profession here um, is already, has already lost a lot of professionals that have migrated to places where they are paid better or have better, you know, work conditions. Um, there are less and less people going to, to the university to study education. That is alarming because and if we, in, because in the future, we're not going to have teachers. Um, there are going to be, you know, there, again, there are less and less people going to school to study education. So that is a problem. And if you keep um, making the living conditions of teachers, the, the salaries they get, the, the pensions that they are promised, less and less and you know there is no hope for a, a dignified old age. It's it will be really hard to recruit people to do these jobs. So that's 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 my 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 main concern. These protests and interviews have highlighted the fact that recent cuts in teachers' salaries and pension funds have not only jeopardized the education system in Puerto Rico, but also the future of Puerto Rico. Reporting for Northeastern University from San Juan, I am Adarsh Bhatt.